Hey there folks, today I'm diving into a fascinating topic, President Emerson Mangagwa's recent visit to China and what Zimbabwe can learn from China's economic success. First off, let's set the stage. Mangagwa's trip was more than just a diplomatic handshake. It was a strategic move aimed at strengthening Zimbabwe's ties with China, a nation that has transformed itself into an economic powerhouse with an $18 trillion economy. During his visit, Menangagwa met with President Xi Jinping, engaged with key investors, and toured bustling economic hubs like Shenzhen and Nanjing. These cities are shining examples of China's rapid development model. But the highlight, Menangagwa's participation in the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, or FOCAC. This platform is crucial for fostering closer economic and political ties between China and African nations. For Zimbabwe, this was a golden opportunity to secure potential investments and partnerships. Now here's where it gets interesting. Despite the pomp and ceremony, there's a stark contrast between the two nations. China's economy is booming, while Zimbabwe's is struggling valued at just under $10 billion. Nearly half of Zimbabwe's population remains trapped in extreme poverty, raising critical questions about the effectiveness of its economic policies. Critics argue that rampant corruption in Zimbabwe costing billions annually is a major roadblock. They point to China's stringent anti-corruption measures as a key driver of its economic prosperity. So, could Zimbabwe adopt a similar zero-tolerance approach to tackle this deeply rooted issue? It's a tough call, but a crucial one. Beyond the immediate economic concerns, there's a deeper layer to this relationship. The ties between Zimbabwe and China are rooted in a shared history dating back to Zimbabwe's liberation struggle. Mnangagwa himself received training in China during this period, adding a personal touch to this partnership. This historical connection forms a foundation of mutual understanding and respect, shaping their interactions today. Mnangagwa's visit wasn't just about business, it was a reaffirmation of these historical ties. It emphasized the continuity of their relationship, from the liberation struggle to present-day economic cooperation. As Zimbabwe navigates its economic challenges, it sees China as a crucial partner. The historical ties serve as a reminder of China's past support and its potential role in Zimbabwe's future. But the big question remains, can these partnerships translate into tangible improvements for ordinary Zimbabweans? Only time will tell. So what do you think? Can Zimbabwe learn from China's success and turn its economic fortunes around? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into global politics and economics. Until next time, stay informed and stay curious.